right here. We're here with Rosa Clemente, former Green Party vice presidential candidate. We're trying to ask the question right now, is hip hop a movement? If so, why so? If not, why not? Well, no, I don't think that at this time hip hop is a political movement. I think unfortunately, um, one presidential run really let um, the movement think that it won a huge victory. And the only way we win victories is when we see the impact on people's daily lives. So I, I don't think that you can be a movement if you don't have a unifying kind of agenda, principles that you live, but also that you can bring it to someone with thousands of people behind it saying, we don't accept this. We don't want police brutality. We don't want higher education cuts. And um, unfortunately, I haven't seen the hip hop political movement go to the table with this power, you know? So when we look at the Obama administration, there are many things that he has done that we think say are progressive, and they are. And that's because that certain constituency said, if you want us and you don't want us coming to the White House the day after you're inaugurated, you will close down Guantanamo Bay. You will start a Department on Women's Affairs. Um, and I think the big question is, if hip hop is a political movement, where's our checklist? Where's the list that says no more Oscar grants, well, Katrina right of return, no war, working class, livable wage, and to police brutality. So it's not Obama's fault or the Democrats or administration as much as it might be. But I always have hope that younger people and new energy can make hip hop a viable political movement in the future. You and Cynthia McKinney ran against Obama and Joe Biden. And one of the things and Sarah Palin and Sarah John Palin, you're right. <laughs> and one of the things Obama did was he brought all his rivals together. Yeah. Are you? Did you expect, or should he have considered bringing you guys as rivals to the table to get your point of view, your perspective, or even to say, "Hey, Rosa, why don't you sit in this cabinet since you are maybe even a harsher critic of him than some of his, some of the people sitting in now." Well, no, I'm not surprised. I mean, I, you know, I don't think that I would fit into an administration run by the Democratic Party. But, I mean, I congratulate someone like Van Jones, who's become a special advisor around um, greening the environment. Um, we know a little bit about him, and there's a little trust factor there. But, um, no, I, I wasn't surprised we weren't asked. I don't think they saw us as viable rivals. I think they see us as a French group. Um, which is not the truth, but no, I'm good. I'm good where I am right now. Do you run for office again? I will. Yeah, I, I definitely will in the future. I think there is an amazing opportunity in space, particularly for women of color, to begin to be elected officials with our compassion, our knowledge, and our activism. It won't be anytime soon, but when it goes down, it'll go down in New York. And It'll go down in my hometown because I think New York is the epicenter of the financial crisis. And what I find very, um, I look forward to, not an economic crisis as much as potentially the rebirth of hip hop in the Bronx again. You know, so I'm excited to be back kind of full circle where it started for me. And I, I think the Bronx and other cities are going to come back up because. Hip hop was founded in the 70s because of an economic crisis in the city of New York. Now we have a global economic crisis, so I'm mad excited. And you got Rebel Diaz who just opened up their center. Well, yeah, and, and I hope people are supporting Rebel Diaz. They just went to court and their trial is on continuation from their arrest last year when they were trying to t translate for a vendor. Um, I hope people follow that trial. I hope people follow the trial right now of the two officers that 14 years ago murdered Hilton Vega and Antonio Anthony Rosario, um, two former bodyguards of Giuliani, killed these kids 14 times, shot them in the back of the head, in the back, and that's going to trial. So right now, that's what a movement requires. If we can't fill up courthouse, if we can't get justice for Oscar Grant after all of this work that we've done, then it's not that we failed, it's more that we have to reevaluate and see what we've done wrong so we can get some victories for our people. That's real talk. We've been talking with Rosa Clemente. Thank you. Thank you.